What's up guys? Uh, a new FIFA 18 update has actually happened today. Um, I thought this could be regarding the, the no loss glitch, what people have been using in foot champs. Um, so I'm going to have a quick review over this with you guys and uh, see if they've mentioned anything regarding it. If not, um, when do I expect a change to happen and so forth. All right, so we'll start off with uh, the gameplay changes a freeze happening in some situations during the goal celebration for a goal that was scored by the goalkeeper i've never seen a goalkeeper score so i actually don't know that about that the goal celebration being skipped in some situations after a goal was scored by the goalkeeper once again more about the goalkeeper never use a goalkeeper really scoring a goal with them wouldn't make sense holding a sprint bound will only once again, cause a goalkeeper to get up quickly if he's on the ground while holding the ball. If that's what I'm thinking, that's actually pretty good. So you can get the counter attacks going quicker, which is really good because I'm finding I'm getting the ball with my keeper and I'm wanting to push quick and get on the counter. But my keeper's taking so long to get up and actually throw the ball. Some of the keepers take a lot longer than others to actually throw the ball, which is a bit annoying but hopefully that actually fixes the speed of you can get your counter the player sometimes being in control of the wrong player in a skill game don't play skill game so i don't know anything about that but i'm assuming that's a good change stringing the juggle skill move together multiple times in the practice arena could cause your player to disappear <laughs> don't go in the arena so i didn't know that was an issue but well done i suppose update the default fever training setting for anyone really still playing the intro match surely not so i don't get why you would need to do a change to that surely there's a lot more important things you could uh, actually talk about and fix but clearly not address the following issues in online modes captains or players that just has transferred capacity or captaincy to another player getting disconnected or crashing after inviting another club to a match in pro clubs friendly in some situations i don't really play pro clubs friendly to play pro clubs um now and then so that's actually a good change for a lot of people uh there's quite a decent size competitive scene for pro clubs so that's actually probably really useful for them so that's good to see more into the thing i actually play is uh, the ultimate team so we'll have a little look what they've done added the ability to watch foot champions channel replays in a slower 0 0.5 playback speed when toggling the playback speed of the replay it cycles through normal see, this is really good because i found sometimes you would go too quick it go too slow and you can't rewind it unless you go replace it's just a lot of hassle so being able to slow it down is good um this could help you if you're like really struggling and you really want to like get better at your play at your gameplay um you can start like reviewing little things so, uh if you slow it down maybe you're noticing player switching wrong sudden sort of movement you're doing wrong what you shouldn't be doing so this is really good to actually be able to really just get down to the great bits of your gameplay and actually make it better so that's good to see. Remove the single player camera from the list of available camera angles in the Foot Challenger channel. I don't know why you would go on single player camera. If you're going on Foot Challenger channel, that'd be weird. Remove the non functional restart button in the Foot Challenger channel pause menu. Didn't know that was a thing. I've never looked at quitting a game, so. That's uh, is what it is. Renamed the FIWC Stadium to item to FEWC Stadium. That's because of the new. Uh, branding of the competitive tournament so that's uh, i suppose that makes sense doesn't it just the following issues in fifa ultimate team foot squads that have default tactical tactics jesus christ i can't read at the moment values that were incorrectly set to over 100 have been reset to the normal default value so that's good that it's actually been sorted and changed because this could happen to people without them even noticing but this has been an issue since the start of release which is and it's just getting fixed how long's that it's nearly been like two months and they've just fixed that that is ridiculous in my eyes that should be fixed straight away that could be causing a lot of people like to play a certain way so having a certain tactic on something is really crucial to them so when that gets flicked up to 100 without them noticing could be making them lose i doubt it but it could do a visual issue where sometimes the kit that a player selected to play with would not be the kit that the opponent would see them playing in foot online modes i've noticed this actually in foot champs when the kits and sometimes they press a and it just sort of glitches the kit so it's sort of like the shorts are different 
to the top. So you would have like, a, say, a Man United top at Chelsea shorts because of the kits they've got. Um, and you wouldn't actually know which one they're in. So sometimes you actually go into the game, full game, and they've actually got a completely different kit and you've actually got a kit clash. And that's just dreadful. So it's good to see that they fit that. Fit squad battles, feature squad images not loading properly after a rapidly tr trans... I'm not saying that word. Three scenes. Um, they play squad battles. Don't notice it. The pause menu countdown time is sometimes displayed in front on foot champs and replay. Once again, never noticed that happen. Scrolling team. Also, the scrolling team lineups list sometimes displayed in the style foot champs channel replay. Never noticed it. So, See, a lot of these things I've actually never noticed. So I wonder if they've actually fixed the things what I would notice. Penny shootout tutorial sometimes displaying during a penny shootout in a foot champions channel room. Never watch the foot, foot champs fucking penny shootout. I usually watch the, the actual game. I don't if he goes to penny, he goes to pennies. I don't usually watch the pennies. Um, address the following issues in audio visual presentation updates to the two D priorities for some players. Okay, I said priorities portrait. Sorry, fucking hell. Um. There's nothing actually being said about the no-loss glitch in this, which is quite surprising, especially with all the stuff that's been going on Twitter and just the explosion of it it's just going out of hand, actually, at the moment. So I actually did think you would see something regarding this, but we haven't. But EA are known for doing little changes and not actually mentioning what the how they've done they might have fixed it without even saying. They might not have wanted it to be publicly uh, known that this glitch was allowed in the game. So if they just quickly get it rid of it behind the scenes, bring out an update, show other issues, basically just cover itself up. So hopefully it's gone. Hopefully that means Foot Chance will still be on this weekend because there's rumours that it might not be if the glitch is there. But hopefully it's gone and we'll actually see the proper people in top 100 once again so i want to say thanks for watching uh don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe peace